how before we started an auction, we have to make sure that our testnet account actually has the ASA that we want. So in our case, the ASA that we want is this ID. And this is actually the ID for USDC on Algorand. And the reason we're using this ASA is because it's easy to get it on testnet through a dispenser. So I'm gonna go ahead and say in my bootcamp account, I am going to click this three little drop down here and click opt into asset. I'm gonna paste in the asset ID. As you can see here, USDC, the check mark, so we know it's the real USDC. I can go ahead and opt in. And what this is gonna do is basically tell the network that we wanna be able to receive this asset. And so now what we can do is if we head on over to a USDC faucet, so usdcfaucet.com, we copy our bootcamp address here, select algo, paste it in, I am human, Select the hot dogs, uh, I don't think so. And then submit. And so what this is gonna do now is send us USDC. So here in our Bob account, let's see we have two assets. And so if we go to our bootcamp account, we can now see that we've had our 10 algo from before, and then also our 10 USDC as well. Okay, so now heading back over, now that we have this actual asset in our account, what we can do is go ahead, click start auction. So we're gonna go ahead, start the auction, and you can see here that we're gonna be sending USDC and it's actually saying we're sending zero USDC. And a reason we are sending, it's saying that is because the USDC is a very divisible asset, but we're only sending one here. So when we send it on the network, we'll actually see what that looks like. So let me go ahead, confirm all. And so now what will happen is that our auction has actually started. And we can go down here. Why can I not scroll down? There we go. And we can see that we've initialized our values. Now let's take a step back before we go into the individual transactions and take a look at our code and see what it's doing. So when we click start, it's gonna do a couple of things for us. So first we're getting our sender and then I think your status text, but going on from that, we're first initializing our ATC. So setting ATC equal to new, algo SDK dot atomic transaction composer. And then we're setting our ASA as the value as number of our ASA input. So what that's basically doing is saying, get whatever ASA ID is in here. And then getting that value as a number to use as our ASA identifier. And now we can see here, we're also getting our suggested params. So again, this is just getting the default parameters that we wanna send with every transaction. And then we can go ahead and get into our actual transactions that we're doing. So the first thing we wanna do here is fund our application. So we've created the application, but we need to make sure that the application is able to receive the asset that we want to auction. So in order to do that, we need to send it 0.1 algo for the account minimum balance requirement. So again, every account needs 0.1 algo to be on the ledger. And then an additional 0.1 algo so that the account can opt into the asset. 
So a total of 0.2 algo or 200,000 micro algo. And we're going to be sending that from our sender. So whatever account we have selected in the dropdown and then to algo sdk.get application address. And what this is basically going to do is, or what this exactly is going to do is going to send 200,000 micro algo or 0.2 algo from our sender to our contract address. So we've made that transaction. Let's go ahead and add it to our atomic group. Now the next thing we want to do is actually call the opt into asset method on our call the opt into asset method in our contract. So to do that, we're going to do an ATC dot add method call, and our app ID is going to be our option app ID. Our method is going to be an ABI method object. So you can see here, method it's not just expecting a string. It's, expecting an algo sdk ebi method and the way we get that is by using this algo sdk get method by name function and we pass in an array of abi methods and then the name of the method that we want to get and what this is basically doing is saying okay get the contract that we instantiated earlier so again we instantiated this via our appspec.contract, which created an ABI contract. So we're going to get all the methods in that and tell the SDK to select the method is called opt into asset. So this is now going to tell the contract that this indeed is the method we want to call. And then we pass in our sender and signer. And then for our suggested params, we're going to override the fee to be double the minimum fee. So on Algorand, the min fee is always 0.001 or 1,000 micro algo. Here we're doubling it. And this is just like the testing we're doing yesterday because in our, a lot of files here, in our app.py, in our opt into asset, we are sending an inner transaction that has a fee of zero. So we want to be able to cover that. And then for our arguments, opt into asset is expecting one argument that's an asset ID. So we're also passing in that ASA ID as well. And then finally, when we want to start the auction, we want to call the start auction method. And the first argument to start auction or one of the arguments to start auction is an asset transfer. So we're forming an asset transfer transaction from the sender of the amount we specified. So it's getting this value here. In our case, it's just one. And then we're sending it to algo sdk.get application address. And we're setting the asset index equal to ASA. So this is gonna be a transfer from our sender, the account we have selected here, to our contract address of amount specified in our input and of the ASA ID that we specified in our input. And then we're going to actually call the method by doing the method call. Again, doing the same thing here, specifying our auction app ID, using get method by name to get our start auction method, doing passing in our sender, passing in our signer, and then call algo d client get transaction params dot do. Get our suggest params. Notice we're not doing a double fee here because there's no enter transactions when we start the auction. And then we're gonna go ahead and provide our method arguments. So if we take a look at what the start auction arguments are, here are the starting price, the length, and the AX for. So we do our starting price as the amount input. So this value here, the length, we're just hard coding the 3,600 because we're not gonna be dealing with that logic yet. And then passing in this AX for transaction. So now again, in this atomic group, we have a payment funding the contract. It calls the contract to have it opt into the ASA and transfer to the ASA, a transfer of the ASA from our sender to the contract, and then a call to the start auction. And this is all happening in a single atomic group that we're then sent to the network with atc.execute and then we're gonna update our status. So we've already done that. We can see here, auction has started. And again, we can take a look. We can see that we now have 
a your auction has been populated here. And let's take a look at this group ID. So we know these two transactions are grouped together because the color icon here is the same. So if we click on that, we can see all the transactions in this group. So this is all the transactions that were sent when we called wait ATC execute. So starting at the bottom here, our first transaction is funding the app with 0.2 algo from our bootcamp account to the app address. And then we're sending USD, or, or then we're calling the opt-in function. So this right here is the opt-in call. So we're calling, and take a look at this. What this is doing is basically calling the opt-in method. And then as an inner transaction, so here we can see one transaction ID, but two transactions underneath that. What that means here is that this transaction coming from the app itself, the inner transaction, and what this is actually is the opt-in to it itself. So we can see inner transactions. We can see that the type is an asset transfer of zero USDC from the app to itself. So that's the app opting in. And then we sent an asset transfer of one USDC. Now, when we say one USDC, it depends on how many decimals are on the actual token to determine what the actual value is. So one USDC is equivalent to 0 0.000001 USDC. So that's how much we've sent to the app. And then we've called our start auction function. And this here is what will actually change our global state and update it to our start auction value. So we have the amount is one, our auction end is gonna be wherever this timestamp is. And then our highest bid is starting at 10,000 as we've specified here in our UI. And so again, we've used the Atomic Transaction Composer to do all of those things in a single atomic transaction group. Or we can see here is identified by this unique identifier for this group that has all of those transactions.